How to get to every map in Gorilla Tag. I noticed there's a lot of new plays in Gorilla Tag, and a lot of the time, you guys miss a lot of things. So I'm gonna show you where every map in Gorilla Tag. There is a total of nine different maps, more than I can fit on my fingers. Two of them being sub maps. So when you first jump out of tutorial, you're obviously gonna land in the infamous forest map. This is literally the main map. A lot of people don't know that if you come over to here, just from the stump and gazebo, you can actually jump up here. This used to actually be completely closed. We never had this. Then once you climb this all the way to the top, it will reveal beach map. This is honestly one of my favorite maps just because there's vines or zip lines everywhere. And you can even go all the way around the map. That is just two of the nine maps. So let's go back through the tunnel. If you've played the game more than twice, you'll know that there's a lot of different tunnels. And one of the tunnels leads to Canyon's map. It's awesome, pretty much just like beach, but it has so many more swingy ropes. Let's move on to caves. This is a very big map, but it does not actually look like it because it's so enclosed. You can run over here, good, over here. Now, this is this map is so big, I haven't even memorized it myself. Oh, and the secret companion down here, Matt the Bat. Hey, he has a Christmas hat on. Look at him. Now I'm gonna eat him. No, no, no. And if we go back out of the caves, this tunnel right here leads to city. But before you actually make it to city, you're gonna see this. Up into clouds. This is this is this is pretty much one of the most hated maps. I have no idea why. It's actually pretty fun. There's also some wind currents all the way up here. There's vines. You can kind of branch on them like forest. And then if you come over to here, you can actually see there's moving parts. These are, I'm pretty sure, the first moving parts in Gorilla Tag. <laughs> what? Oh, and this is probably my favorite part. But you can jump right here and absolutely miss. Back through the tunnel, you will see City. I'm pretty sure a lot of you have been to City. You can buy all your cosmetics from right here. You can see how much shiny rocks you have. How long until you get it? Let's move on to one of the mini maps. This is, you actually unlock a certain game mode when you complete it. So you pinch climb up there, make your way here, and jump along these poles in the ground. You gotta know how to play in double walls for this. And then once you make your way over here, and this button, it says it's gonna unlock the competitive game mode. I've already unlocked it. But once you press that button, <coughs> It will let you play competitive map. If you come right from city, you can jump right up here, and you'll see that there's an actually conveniently, sh conveniently shaped button that you can fit your hand in, and it will actually open this door. Once you go through here, a basement basically, there's a lot of fun things to do down there, but my favorite thing in the basement map is you can actually walk into this, and it will make you go tiny. And you can actually go out of the map while staying tiny if you follow uh, my movements. Also, there's going to be monsters just like that. Oh no, I've gotten hit by a monster. Once you get hit by a monster, it'll actually send you down here. To retry the maze, you wanna actually um, just walk out of this little hole right here. Memorize the area, 
and then you just want to sit right on this coin. Then you want to wait for a monster like that guy. It can be the pink monster as well. And you just want to make sure you're standing right here. And the monster will zap you. And it will send you down. <laughs> when you see that you're in here, you can drop down this hole and run all the way out of this tunnel. There you go. And you have a from under here. You're tiny. And then to get on tiny, you have to make the long and treacherous walk. You climbed up here, keep going, and then you see the door for the end is in sight. Your treacherous journey is almost over. You'll start you'll, as you walk closer to the exit. You'll start to get bigger until you can actually walk out here and you're full size again. Moving on to the very last map, the ninth one, we can go into ice map. It is very hard to learn. I guess you can tell why it's called ice map. It's covered in ice, which you can't move around freely like in forest. If you want to, you can actually walk in the snow, but the ice is slightly lighter and slippery. And then this is actually the fan. It's probably your um, savior from you like hyperventilating. <laughs> you can jump into it and it will shoot you all the way up there. I don't know why it didn't. This map is super hard to learn, so don't uh, get frustrated if you don't learn it on your first try. It's it took me a while to learn it too. That is all the maps, the, 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 them, and you definitely gotta explore all of them. <laughs>